Hello, my friends. Thursday, July 28, Luminar Neo will release their uh, software update. I think it's number 1.2.0. And in this new update, you will have the HDR merge and dodge and burn tool. Now, in the tutorial I did yesterday, I showed you exactly how to use this dodge and burn tool to get beautiful results. We transformed this image over here and we sculpted the face to look like this. And this tool works fantastic, but there is a problem with it. And I don't know if you, any of you guys noticed when I did the edit, but we have a big problem and this um, you know, tool can ruin your image if you do not know of this problem and if you do not know how to fix it. So that's why I am here. I will show you exactly what the problem is. I will show you why this is happening, why I believe this problem is happening. And most importantly, I will show you how to fix it or how to avoid it all around. So let's go to the computer and see what am I talking about. So here we are on Luminar Neo and we will work with this image. And if we go to edit and go down into the professional tools, dodge and burn. And let's say we want to darken the sky. So we will go to darken and I'll keep the strength pretty high. And watch what happens when I paint the sky. It's super, super saturating it. And this is not okay. This could make your, you know, images look very cartoonish, very bad, amateur-like. So you do not want this um, saturation happening. The same thing you see if I go and paint into the trees, they are turning like red, orange. It's not just darkening them. It actually adds a lot of color. And this is why I think this is happening. I am going to reset this. And I think the Luminar Neo program behind, you know, what we don't see when it's using this tool, it's using the color burned uh, blending mode. And I can prove you this because if I go to this layer and click D to duplicate it, and then I will just go into layer property and change this to color burn, reduce the opacity. You see, we're getting the same kind of oversaturated colors. So we're getting exactly the same result we are getting with the um, dodge and burn tool. And that is because it's using the color burn, which is not the correct uh, blending mode when you want to, you know, darken things. I don't know if this was an error on Skylum side or, you know, why this is happening, but they should have used maybe multiply and this will have darkened it without, you know, adding the color. So let's reset this and show you how to use dodge and burn without, you know, ruining your image. So when you want to use this tool, the best, I think the best uh, way to do it is it is to duplicate your layer. So go D to duplicate it and then go into your dodge and burn and let's use the, do the darkening again, paint wherever you want to burn. Of course, probably I would have not want to do this to the sky, but I am just showing you um, how to fix the problem. So there you go with darkening the things. And now if you want to resolve this problem of oversaturation, just go into your layer properties because you are on the second layer where you applied the dodge and burn and change the blending mode from normal to luminosity. And just like that, we removed all that super saturation, nasty colors. So put your dodge and burn on a new layer change blending mode to luminosity, and that will only make it so it affects the, um, the lightning and the darkening will not affect the colors. Now I'm going to reset this. I'm going to delete this layer and show you what other options do you have. So that's if you want to use the dodge and burn, then definitely do that and it will solve your problems. Dodge and burn really all it is is just darkening and lightening parts of your image. So you can do that multiple ways. I'm going to show you different ways to dodge and burn. So the one way to do it is just use develop and just take the exposure down. And then using masking, you can brush in wherever you are trying to, you know, burn. I would have not done it to the sky. I'm just giving you an example. 
and by doing this you are not you know affecting the colors you're just darkening things so that is one way use develop you can also use and develop uh, just use the curve tone and just drag down a point in the middle and that will darken things and then with the mask you can you know do the same thing you can darken the things you want to darken and then you know when you want to lighten things get out of develop go back and develop and you bring this point up and this will dodge things and then you can mask it of course with the brush and you know this will brighten the things that you want to brighten so that is one way or two ways to use dodge and burn I am going to reset this to original and show you one more way. Another way to dodge and burn is to duplicate your layer again. So D for duplicating the layer. And now with this layer selected, you can just simply change the blending mode to multiply and reduce to opacity to whatever you need for darkening because multiply darkens things. And now use this masking brush to just paint it where you want this effect and you want to burn in. So let's see, we want to darken the shadows and, you know, if you want to darken the sky, we can do that too. So just like that, we are burning things. And then when you want to dodge thing, you can go back to the original image D to duplicate it and then drag this to the very top. Or you can leave it where it is too, it doesn't matter. But then to lighten things, go change the blending mode to screen and that will brighten things you adjust how bright you want them over here and then with the mask with the brush just go and paint where do you want this brightening effect to happen so let's see we want the top of those trees there maybe here and just like that we you know dodge and burned a few things i really like using blending modes because you guys if you've been following my uh, channel i do use blending modes a lot but anyway, this is the way you can use dodge and burn and not have those horrible, horrible, you know, artifacts of, you know, increasing the saturation. Here is, I just want to show you really quick here. This is not my image. I took this from um, Unsplash. It's a free stock uh, website. I just want to show you, this is a example of really bad HDR. I think the photo, the composition, everything, it's so cool. The sky looks great. But this is what you should try to avoid when you do HDR. And I know this has nothing to do with dodge and burn, but because we've been working with HDR yesterday, I want to show you, look at the horrible halos, look at the horrible super color, you know, neon greens. And this is just not what a picture should look like. So learn from these mistakes over here and try not to do that. Try to keep your colors natural and, you know, Make sure you don't have artifacts like halos and all of that. I know we got a little bit of sidetrack, but I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I will see you in my next video.